So in Studio One version 6.2, we have a couple changes in terms of the way layers or takes work while you're working in Studio One. So the first one that I want to point out would be, make sure everything's muted over here, we no longer have an instance where you have a, a layer or an additional layer that's created when you just do one recording pass. So for example, I have a loop range activated. I have my record mode set to takes to layers. If I was to activate this right now and do a record pass, take a look at what happens when I just do one pass. Check, check, check one, check one, check, 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 check one. Okay. So I've stopped this. This no longer triggers a layer. So if I go to expand my layers, I don't even have the option. In order to expand layers and have layers, you need to have more than one pass. I think this is a good thing because there's so many times where I like working with the takes to layers workflow, but if I only do one pass and that's enough to do, and I don't necessarily need more layers because we nailed it, then it was just confusing for me that it automatically created an additional layer, like two layers, as if though I had recorded two passes. So that's just a really kind of like a simple change in behavior. Now, in terms of some other changes in behavior, this is one that I really enjoy, and that is we have the ability to do some basic editing when we are in layer mode. So, for example, we know what happens when we're in the quick swipe comp mode and we go to make an adjustment. There's no way that I can edit the contents of this take unless I was to activate this layer. And then I could, for example, trim this down and then I could come back to, I've already lost my bearings in terms of where I am, in terms of my main take that is, that is sitting on the top layer. So now in Studio One 6.2, if you hold down the command modifier, that'd be command on a Mac, control on a PC, we have some basic functionality for editing. So for example, I can trim this out. This was a looped recording. So as I trim this out, I'm, I'm, I'm revealing the next take that happened. But if I wanted to tidy this up, this is something that I can do over here. I could tidy up this spot right over here. Also take a look at this. There's a range tool selected. Let's say that the artist made a mistake. They sung the wrong lyrics or they cleared their throat or they completely messed something up. If I need to emit a section from the actual, from the actual take, this is something that I can do by holding down command modifier. Then we have the ability to make some range selections where I could actually delete different parts of this performance. So how would I use this in theory? Well, I would probably um, delete the top and tail of some stuff that I don't necessarily need. So I wanted to clean that up. Maybe this area over here, they sung completely the wrong lyrics. And maybe in this area over here, I didn't want to use it at all. And this area was wrong. I, I could kind of go through and listen to these different things. And then maybe this, I wanted to trim that back or extend this out, whatever you want to do. So now essentially what happens is we have the ability to do some basic housekeeping in terms of our comping. And then if I wanted to comp something together, it's very easy for me to do it. So I could, for example, go across here and say, all right, well, I want to grab this part from take one. The other thing I might do is just get rid of this full layer all to begin with. And then I'm comping from this section over here. And then I want this back half over here. And then this is going to all come from here. And then this one, I only have this option. And then this one, I only have this option and so on and so forth. So this is a nice change in terms of the way this works. Now, another thing that um, it's in the release documents, I haven't actually tested this because I haven't comped a vocal in 6.2 yet since it came out. I'm finishing all my jobs in 6.1.2 before I move over to 6.2. But the other thing is that if you had the preference um, where takes layers follow events, in previous versions of Studio One, if you used, for example, the Arranger track, and we had a situation like this, if I was to take these right over here, let's put, let's try to mock up an edit over here. I'm going to just put a cut in this right over here. Now let's say that I wanted to either replace or kind of insert this right here. What used to happen is even though you had the, the layers following, even if you had the preference selected that you didn't have overlaps, that it would make a mess of your layers and there would be overlaps in between. So let's go ahead now and let's move this. Let's replace this section and take a look at what happens here. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I would want to see. We don't have any overlaps 
that are happening in this section. This came through exactly as I want. Now, let me take this section and let's snip this in. That might, might be a little bit easier. Actually, it might make more sense if we do something where we have an edit boundary that I've respected over here. Maybe right to this point over here. And we'll comp this in and maybe we'll just pull this edit back to here. So if I was snipping in this in between, right over here, if I wanted to replace this section, again, we're going to just replace this. We don't have any overlaps in our layers anymore, which means that from the perspective of the main track, this always kind of worked, but the problem used to be that when you opened up your layers, you had overlaps in the layers. So I had to actually be really careful if I was comping from layers and flying things in with the arranger track or from other sections. What I would have to do is just do the comp and then fly everything in like this and just ignore the fact that my layers might be overlapping. So I really like all of these changes that we have, the ability to do this. Now, there is also some, some things that you can do with respect to if you did a performance where you comp together something, you can actually kind of fly things in directly from the layers and kind of move them down. But personally, I wouldn't work this way. I would probably just do the take in the main performance and then I would fly it over um, from this section right over here. I would like fly this into wherever I need to. And then the idea would be that if I expanded my layers, my layers would have followed that with it. So I don't really find the need to hold down alter option modifiers to drag things down. But I suppose you could explore that if you wanted to. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.